Alright, and welcome to Life at SOK 350 Lover. Gonna be continuing on with Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation 5 Edition, PlayStation 5. I'm just doing this mission where I gotta scare this guy. God, this is making me sick. Alright, so where am I going? Damn, Michael was really a freaking movie fanboy. I guess we would know what he would be doing if he wasn't doing crime. It's not all this cracked up to be making movies. Yeah, it looks cool on screen, but the one thing, they don't have a lot of privacy. And like he said, the whole crappy deal. See following you everywhere. Camping outside your house. Like the dude said, money. Top of the building. Oh shoot. Right here? No. Let's see water tank. Put it there. Water tank to a parking lot. Send it oh. down. Ah, right here. It's not here. Oh my god. Oh, can you? Right here. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Ooh, close enough. Go to Solomon's office. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. No! Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now? 
and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot. I don't know why the security came and I guess because I crashed the helicopter. What a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, <laughs> Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding sir and I I appreciate all the opportunities that, that that you've given me of course of course Michael what can I say you're a natural I love you oh, you're too kind no no I mean it I don't mean to presume but would it be okay if I gave you a shout this shoot seems cursed for some reason or another I need an associate producer oh boy you said the magic word We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. He's just saying that. Ah, hell yeah. The hell? Alright, Mission Pez, Mr. Richards, Mr. Time, Silas Essen, Can't Touch is 2.0. Perfect touchdown. Alright. Let's see what the mission objectives really were. Oh my god, no. What? Jesus Christ. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Alright, Mr. Richards, mission time complete within 10 minutes. Nope. Silent Assassin killed three enemies using still tactics. We did two. And touch this 2.0. Take no damage during the fight with Roco Ro Roco? Rocco? Yeah. I shouldn't have let him punch me. Perfect touchdown land of Frogger without damaging it. Uh yeah, I didn't do that either. Okay. And Solomon, nothing. Okay, only thing is left is this Devon thing. But if I be no nothing, don't have any of uh, the shrink things either. What's this? Not oh, the movie mask. Okay. Uh. I was gonna say I can try to participate in one of those triathlons since I'm by the beach. Where is it? I wonder if that lady will be there. No, stay down. This place Over is there. crazy as hell. <laughs> Go oh, Michael down. Shooting the hell out of this other out there. Of course I can't shoot or do anything. I even have a helicopter? I might have to drop this off at my helicopter place. Let me drop this off real quick. Better way to get a helicopter is from a free mission. Alright. Dr. Freelander, Michael, I haven't heard from you. I trust you keep in and find me to help, but I worry. Phone session? Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your 
profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Hell, Doc, when you put it like that, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> no. Up a little down, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. Okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc. They're off. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. And they won't even take my phone calls. But... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outburst, Michael? <sighs> Sometimes I'm fine, Doc. Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. And I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, I keep asking about know, sexual problems. I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. I really feel like you're judging me harsh here, Doc. You know? I'm doing my best. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. Oh my god. Wow, $1,500. Asshole. I look up the picture where it said that she land on this helipad. Uh, doesn't look like a helipad. Okay, whatever. Okay, now I can kind of see, I don't know, the H or whatever this is supposed to be. Okay, come back. Oh my god, where are you going, Michael? Ah, shoot, dude. Go that way. Ah, shoot. Come on. I hate these helicopters, dude. I swear to God. Okay. Let's try that. Alright. It'll be stored here. Alright. I landed one here. What if he could get burned up from this thing? I'm blown up. Yep. I'm answering all of life's questions. 
Alright. Now. Uh, D. I was trying to go to this triathlon thing. Yep. Okay. He missed that back end. No way. I forgot the check for money. Uh, excuse you. You oh, the paramedic wants to fight me now. So he boxed in the Marines and he got knocked out. What in the fucking world is that? What are you see talking about? Look at this. The cop just ran right past me. Did you see that? Shit, where you been? Just rode right past me. Somebody's having a party. Gotta go to Franklin's aunt house. Isn't this it right here? Where's nothing happens? Like being attacked in Franklin's house. Okay, where is this? Okay. Come on, bro. Time to move. <laughs> I don't know how he fell out of that car like a bag of trash. She just fell. He just fell where I threw him. Wow, 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 wow. Should have went out here. Oh, you can't go in here? Oh my god, man. Look at this. Wow. 
Wow. It's <laughs> <laughs> the perfect place to kill somebody, man. That looks like some mobster stuff. Just wait till you're in the hole and then shoot you. Oh my god. So funny. much more. I don't know how, what percent of <laughs> When I'm playing this game, of the time that I spent running from the police, but it's gotta be like more than 25 percent. Thank you. For me. You're alone. Freak, dude. What the hell? Oh my god, did you see? I should have shot him, man. I was trying to, like, take him out and then hide so police wouldn't know where I was at. And this guy, man, like, I've never been in that back office before. This game, man, sometimes, I don't even understand. This dude did like a three piece combo on me. Who marched my pistol? Okay. Let me call it taxi cab because he. I don't know. Just getting in too much trouble. Hi, I'd like to order a cab, please. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Thanks. I'll ask you for the rest of it. Getting away the whole damn well, TV that's why is fucking moves. garbage. And that you do know. A real man drowns his sorrow. I'ma tear your ass up. Maybe <laughs> you think you I ain't gonna do it once, Toby. Hey, my man, where you going? Right away, sir. And four dots. That's crazy. See? Just a magnet for trouble. All right, brother, here we are. Looks like you're SOL, asshole. Same old yeah. I know Tai Chi. I keep saying that. Trying to do this triathlon thing. Oh yeah. Sign up right here. Okay. No turning back now. The hell? Why is there? Whoa. Trenton is a multi sport race. Swim, cycle, target tapping. Increase your speed, deplete your stamina. Okay. More you push yourself, more stamina you deplete. Push your health, you do Train your health as well. I don't know. My stamina is on X, so. I guess it doesn't matter.
Because my stamina is. Oh, I can't. Oh, 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 oh. Can't. Can't so. Okay, they're in the water. What the hell? Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. I can't see. What? What's going on here? Dude, I can't even see where the I'm going. Floundering at the back there. Why did they do that? Now I'm going the wrong way. Okay, whatever. You know, I'm gonna just leave here. Looks choppy down there today. That's going to slow them down. Look at Scott Redfern's technique with that front crawl. Poetry in motion. Dang, you can just go wherever you want. If Michael DeSanta keeps going off course, they'll have to disqualify him. Can't disqualify me, I don't care. That really was a perfect T1 transition from Ed Freeman. He's looking very solid. Put it with this freaking helicopter. It's so easy to burn through all your energy on the swim if you're not careful. Get back to the base course. No. The course was abandoned. I was trying to show my uh, stats to show my stamina and stuff, but then they started recording, and I don't know. This is so crazy. My stamina is maximum though, so just gonna see if this will do it for me. Yeah, what? The advice right behind me. Go, Michael, go. No need to look behind me, just go. Okay. No, I don't want to see the Weasel News coverage. And I can't see what I'm doing. Get on the bicycle, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Come on, look at that! Go, dude! What the hell? Wait for everybody to catch up with you. Put on no helmet, just go. Yeah, woohoo. That's the last part running. Oh man. Oh my god. Am I going to? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going the wrong way. Get back to the race course. What the freak? Wow. Because I went to the wrong I went the wrong way. This freaking game dude. I missed one little circle. They want me to go back and I want to try to turn around. Then he crashes and then they on the race. Why do they don't have checkpoints? I don't understand that. This game is so ridiculous, man. I do this crap all over again just because he missed one so instead of turning left I was supposed to turn right this game is so frustrating I can't stand it sometimes some of these missions are just it's kind of like you gotta pass all or you fail all kind of thing I don't like missions like that 
like missions where you can just, you know, you miss something or at least if you pass like the first part, you should be able to go to the second part. But I guess I understand it because it's a race. So if you were to redo the checkpoint, like where would you uh, start off from or something? I don't know. No, I don't want to do these on news coverage. It takes so damn long to get on the bike and put on his helmet and stuff. By the time he does all that, everybody's already caught up with me. Now, this is a midlife crisis I can enjoy. There you go. Don't miss any checkpoint either. Jesus Christ. Oh shoot, no crash. So go right. Come on, look at that. I don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. Okay. Right. And then right. Okay. Then left. 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 Go up here and turn right. And straight. I'm looking at the uh, hood because. I don't really know. Hey, God, dude, what okay, are you we'll doing, do. Michael, man? I swear to God, Someone this guy. Why you should lose now? Just run to the circles. Now, this is a midlife crisis I can enjoy. Uh huh. Yep. Don't have me going the wrong way or something. Okay, turn this way. And the finish line. Thank God. Alright, Vespucci Trath on my one out of eight. First place. What's the leaderboards? What did I get? What did they get? Two minutes and fifty five seconds. Nine point six nine seconds. Okay. Alright, I'm way at the bottom. Three thousand and thirty second place. Okay, whatever. That's fine with me. Continue. First place, I'll take it. Who cares? Alright. Why does it seem like to me when he was doing that race, like his hair was shorter? I don't know. Alright, got a new race unlocked. Where? Where's the next race at? C race. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Can't get a taxi. Yeah, hey, I need a cab. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Appreciate it. Since this is the stats I was talking about. Since his stamina is maxed, then I don't have to worry about the whole stamina thing. At least I think. It didn't bother me when I was doing the race, so I think I'm okay. 
Okay, where's that taxi at? Alright. Where you headed, homie? Alright, let me check my recording time. Alright, still good. Grape seed. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Hey, we're here. Alright, chant a long time. Oh yeah. Sign up right here. Okay, no turning back now. Once I go the right way. I've been training, you know, ignoring my kids. Does that mean trying to ignore my kids? I didn't even notice he's wearing this one cap. That's why it looks like his hair is short. It's a swimming cap, not his hair. Dude, what the hell? He's doing great. Thing I can't tell this which circle is first. Okay, I don't know. I'm just going to the bigger one. Well, this is actually longer. Okay, I think I see. Now, I don't know if this is bike or more swimming. Okay, I see. Swimming and then bike. Wow, this is crazy. Iron Man thing is really crazy. Get on a bicycle. Oh, heavy. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Am I tripping on juice? Get in there. Woo! Yeah. Go on. See, he didn't put on his helmet this time. Turn. Shoot. Right here, turn. Oh, shoot. And right here, turn. Shoot. Stay on the path. Go straight. I'm trying to go, go, go. Dang it, Michael. Stop doing that. This is a middle half crisis I can enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you said that before. What's that? Ah, shoot. Oh, Some checkpoint. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, you don't. No, you oh, don't. Still got it. Oh, 
Go Michael, go. Go Michael, go. You're right behind me. Then I lose this. All right. Yes. Yes. Ooh, that dude almost caught me, boy. Alamo C trap the line. First place. I'm gonna make the leaderboards. Killer Jelly 28. STLR. Okay. I don't know. I guess there's some group or something. All right. Not bad. I don't know why I'm saying not bad. I got first place, so I mean, what more did I want? Damn, Weasel News, get out of here! over here by the Alamo uh, then I just okay well is this Trevor's house or near it Oof, looks terrible this place where's Trevor place up over here somewhere I like I could probably go in his house anyway is it miss it with the propane tank man I don't even know I don't even know where he stays at. Let me do something real quick. Let me switch to Trevor. See where his safe house is at. I don't even know. safe house and okay it's here kind of was near all right not surprised I could switch like that What's over here? I think I just ran past there actually. Okay, satellite dishes are there. Just wanna see if he can go inside his house and if Ron is outside.
Not his trailer looks too nice. Oh yeah, this is it. Don't see Ron. Dude, still had the glue out here, but he can't do that. Can't mess with his garage. Please stop shooting, I'm home turd. Hmm. Oh yeah, she calls about like somebody shooting at his house. Michael, what the hell? I'll kill you. Ain't even none of his dang business. Oh, shoot. Stick it behind down. And I got you, guy. Oh, shoot. That actually works. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Yes, that's my karma for shooting up his place. Oh, well, no more police. Sandy Shore Medical Center. Oh my god. He <laughs> was so beat up. Okay, let's go to this other um, triathlon, since it's real close. I don't know how many there are. I mean, it's like, what, it was like five rampages for Trevor, so it might be five triathlons, I guess, minimum or maximum or something. Over here and get some ammo. Finally, someone who looks like ain't gonna pay with a bounce check. <laughs> yeah, he's not from around here. Tear gas, it's been on that. Seventeen years I've lived in this town, and it still ain't grown on me. Hope that does what you need. Man, come on. Let's see if they have some, um, soda machines in here. You saw, bitch!
Mission is closed. Please come back later. Oh shoot. I guess there's some playing around. Not that way. Over here. Get down. Oh shoot! Get a five star in here. Perfect location because it's only one way in and one way out, so I don't have to worry about them ambushing me. Still no five star yet. If I hit five or not, sucks. Almost. It's fine while it lasted. All right, Let me go over here and do this little triathlon. Keep playing around. See if I can finish one more before my time runs out. Shoot first. Twenty four seven. Ooh, it's a golf cart. Hey. Get that golf cart.
I'm having myself a wonderful fucking day. Okay. They'll kill you. With kindness or with bullets. They'll kill you any way you can. That's why you must have a weapon. You must be armed. Every sane man must be armed. Every insane man must be armed. It's the only thing that ensures your safety. I'm motherfucking safe. When you're in the bush, and you're scared out of your motherfucking mind, be grateful that the defense cuts left you with bullshit instead of bullets. Pow, pow! You're dead. Bro, boo, just got you in the head. Well, that's what happened to Smithy! I guess he's supposed to be like a Vietnam bit. I'm surprised that we use like racist uh, words in, in this bush? game though. Well, I'd stick a knife in my teeth, I'd crawl through the razor grass till I found me a load of enemy combatants. Then I'd slit their fucking throats for freedom. Pull the villain straight out of their fucking mouths. Well, this is war, brother, and it's everywhere. Uh huh. War. War is <laughs> true. War made me this way. So fuck all of you. Fuck you all. I did it for you. I did it for you, and you <laughs> don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> That's true. I just forgot about the Vietnam vets. War crimes? War crimes? What's a fucking war crime? Losing! That's the only crime. That's the only crime. That and not dying. We should have carpet bombed the entire fucking world and turned it into a parking lot. Then we'd be safe. Yeah, we shouldn't have been in Vietnam. That was a terrible war. It's like all our wounds. Gotcha! You gotta take cover! Take cover! They're everywhere! Man. War is hell. But here ain't much better. Now say Sammy sure is that. This is hell. So is this war? Huh. Is this war? Let me tell all you motherfuckers. I wouldn't be in a foxhole with none of you assholes. Not no fucking chance. Because when Charlie comes, you're gonna need more than a weak grass enema and a sunny outlook. You're gonna need a <laughs> fucking big fucking gun. This guy's got a lot of voice lines. This country used to be for men. I feel men breathing their last breath up a fucking unknown hill, and none of you give a fuck. Well, fuck you! When you're deep in the bush, you better learn how to dig deep and fast. Motherfuckers, when Charlie comes, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. I killed for you, assholes. Killed for you. And look at me. Look what it did to me. Charlie's coming back, motherfuckers. He never even left. He never even left! He's everywhere! And he's coming back! You know how they spend your precious tax dollars? On keeping the officers looking good. Not on weapons. Not on bullets. Not on field dressings. They left us up on that bridge without any bullets. 